Tesla Model 3 spied testing with no mirrors, unusual camera placement. Hey there, EV enthusiasts. Ready to take a joyride into the world of electric vehicles with EVpedia? Buckle up because we're about to embark on an electrifying journey together. But hold on, before we hit the accelerator, let's make sure you're part of our EV squad. Hit that subscribe button faster than a Tesla off the line. Smash the like button harder than a Cybertruck's exoskeleton and drop a comment below that's juicier than a fully charged battery. Let's turn this channel into the EV hub of the future, one click at a time. Is this a Robotaxi mule? Or is Tesla planning to swap mirrors for cameras and screens in future production cars? Could this be our first look at a mule for Tesla's self-driving Robotaxi? It's a mule based on the refreshed Model 3 with cameras in completely different locations from the regular model, and it's not clear what its purpose is. The car was spotted on a freeway in Palo Alto, California, sporting Texas manufacturer plates. The mule doesn't have side mirrors, and the side repeater cameras seem to stick out a lot more so that they can get a better view of the car's sides. This could suggest Tesla is working on digital mirrors, which completely replace traditional mirrors and show the feed from external cameras on screens inside the car. It's not the first manufacturer to do this, though, following in the footsteps of OEMs like Honda, Lexus, and Audi. All the mirrorless cars from the aforementioned manufacturers have screens inside the vehicle placed very close to the base of the A-pillar. This is meant to mimic the place where you expect to see the mirrors on the outside of the vehicle and where you normally look, but we didn't see any screens there in the Model 3 Mule photos posted on X by Nick Cruz Patton. None of the rear-facing cameras on the Mule are where you normally find them on a Model 3. Aside from the wider placement of the side repeater cameras, not even the B-pillar cameras are in the same spot. They have been moved inside the car, and they see out through the rear windows. Even the rearmost camera located on the trunk lid is in a new position, moved slightly higher. We can't imagine what effect moving it a couple of inches higher has on the camera feed, but there has to be a reason why Tesla engineers went to the trouble of doing this. Tesla boss Elon Musk did say in a September 2023 tweet that future Teslas would ditch all traditional rearview mirrors, including the one inside the vehicle. This could be our first look at Tesla testing the digital mirror system before implementing it in a production car although it still looks like it has the central rearview mirror inside the vehicle. Having recently driven the refreshed Tesla Model 3, I noticed that when you indicated, the feed from the side repeater camera on the corresponding side popped up on the center screen. This is a feature I had previously only seen on Hyundai and Kia vehicles, but in those cars, the feed from the cameras appeared on the digital gauge cluster screen, not the central screen, so you didn't have to glance away from the road to see it. It will be interesting to see how Tesla implements this in production. Given the company's propensity to simplify and cut costs as much as possible, it seems unlikely that it will equip its cars with two additional screens. The feed from the cameras may simply be displayed on the central screen, and every driver will have to retrain years of muscle memory and look in a different direction when changing lanes. Well, fellow EV aficionados, that's a wrap for today's electrifying adventure. Thanks for joining us on this ride. But hey, the fun doesn't stop here. Keep those likes, subscribes, and comments coming in like a convoy of electric cars on a mission. Together, we'll charge ahead into a brighter, cleaner future. Until next time, keep those wheels turning and those electrons flowing. Stay charged, my friends.